Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Let me shovel some on here because there's some spots where it didn't quite go on too well, too thoroughly. So make sure this is. So I probably could have just done this rather than using the static applicator. We've probably gotten the same same result, more or less. I'm doing the same thing. There. You know, not too bad. I don't know, a little bit, uh, a little bit unruly. Yeah, I don't know. Trying to side, get a better side to this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I could have trimmed it off a little bit better. Yeah. Let you decide. Kind of a little bit out of control in some spots. Yeah, I don't know. It looks reasonably convincing, I think. Maybe a little bit too, a little bit too symmetrical here. I can always mess around with that. And part of the fact is, is that this uh, this furnace filter was blue, so it still shows up a little bit. But uh, actually, I think it looks fairly decent. I think I need to practice on this a couple of more times and maybe reread some articles to make sure I'm doing things right. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip a little bit here. But I think this may be the route I go. I just need to go get, oh yeah, I just need to go get some uh, brown furnace filter material. Okay, here's my little test bed here, actual space where I'm going to dry my trees. Let's just stick this one right in here. Yeah. In context with the other trees, this looks pretty darn decent. And what I would need to do, especially under the any pine trees I plant is kind of scrape away some of the grass and throw a little dirt down underneath here um, or thin out the grass somehow I want a perfectly green lawn and then uh, break out the clump foliage here got another bag of this stuff oh yeah green clusters here we go that it's a big clump foliage, so I should be able to break some of this off. Put a couple of clumps to like down here, the bush, a bush or two down here. That I have to glue that down. Spread them out a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. And let me try. Let me try some of this uh, 
natural dry cast. Cut a couple of pieces off. Smaller pieces. See this little test base here. I can just drill it right into the ground here. Signifying little wee trees in here. Yeah. Yeah, some clusters of weeds and smaller. Yeah. That gives I like that. Nice sort of bushy effect. Nice bit of variety there. <laughs> it almost makes me wish I had uh, made my sub road bed out of uh, extruded foam then I could just easily just sort of stick these things in there. Um, especially these trees here. I, I could just go ahead and uh, push them in place and uh, just right into the foam and it'd stay there. So I'm gonna have to drill some holes and stick these in. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of my uh, experiments with trees. I think I have uh, ideas and some methodologies of what I want to do. So I think that's, uh, that's it for now.